Hey, it's me. What was that noise? So after my last two weeks of moving videos, are you guys having fun? Which you guys actually seem to like. Surprisingly, my hands, they're ready to paint, to create. I've chosen three squishies to fix today, in quotes, fix, based on your comments and which ones you guys wanted to see the most. I saw lots of comments about these bear cakes. I happened to open these back to back in the same video, which was really weird. I know you guys wanted me to decorate both of these together, but I only have time for three squishies in a video, so if I did them both, that would only leave one other spot, and these are like pretty large, so it's not like I can just count them as one. So for those reasons, I'm only doing one of them. Please don't kill me. Similarly, similarly, what are you writing an essay? These houses, you guys wanted me to do all of them. <laughs> We've got an entire neighborhood here. That's a little much for one video. So one house it is. And the final squishy is this one. Oh, look. Uh, it looks like a giant turd. So let's get into some squishy roasting. This squishy has been ripped into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces and covered in some sort of splotchy brown paint. Gorgeous. Clearly it's been through a lot already. So let's try to make some sense of this. It looks like a tail and then we have, um, uh. Okay, it's a narwhal. Let's try to help this poor fellow, shall we? The first step is to start gluing all the pieces back together. I'm really great at puzzles. There you go. Apply a thin layer of glue. I'm making sure all the edges are lined up and then rubber banding it until the glue dries. And repeat that process with the rest of the body parts. Ugh. Give its arms back or fins, whatever. And now that it's all back together, there's still a lot of cracks and breaks, so I'm gonna take some puffy paint and start sealing up every rip I can find, which was a lot. This thing is uh, pretty messed up. I have no clue how this happened or why. Why do bad things happen to good squishies? Okay, now on to the bottom. It's very important to do this step because I definitely don't want any of these cracks coming open when I start the actual paint job because that can get real tragic oh I'm finger painting now okay now for the color I'm going purple with this not like the color really matters because anything is better than what it was whoops finally we can start cleaning up this look with a couple fresh coats of paint and sorry if the lighting is doing some weird things I'm in a new room and I guess I haven't mastered the lighting in here yet so yeah I may need to um to do that. Apparently that brown paint was very chunky. Maybe it was old, maybe it was dried out. I don't know, but I didn't realize how much texture was in there until I put the fresh paint on and then boom, lumpy chunky. So it's purple and that's great, but I'm gonna add a little design to this to make it a little more interesting. I'm just sketching that out and here we go. I'm adding a rainbow to this. Are you shocked? Yeah. You must be new here. The idea is to have the rainbow kind of swirling around its body like a really cool rainbow kind of scarf that's a terrible way to describe it. This first coat is very messy, which is okay. With the second coat, I'll actually go in and try to clean everything up and make it look presentable. Rainbow is a commitment, okay? Getting each of those colors on there all the way around. Oh, 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 I thought it would never end. Of course, it's totally worth it, you know, for the, for the rainbow, but I'm just saying it gets intense. This is what intensity looks like. Now that that's done, I decided to take this a step further and continue swirling the rainbow around the horn. I think we could have done a solid color here and been just fine, but you know, I tend to get a little extra with this kind of thing, so I did this instead. Yeah, I like it. Now for the face. Very precise measuring here. And I tried to add some little purple cheeks, but I hated those, so then I tried pink. <laughs> Whatever. Plain cheeks it is. Now I'm gonna paint on the eyes. I actually didn't film painting the details of the eyes, and for that, 
I am truly, truly glad because it was hard enough to do that without worrying about the camera. We all know the face is a struggle every time. So let me finish that up. And I added some stars to the side of the head because it was looking a little bald over there. I was gonna do like, you know, one, two, maybe three. I don't know what happened. I just kept adding them. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> This always happens. And finally, I added my little signature to the bottom so I know it's mine. I wouldn't wanna get it confused with somebody else's lumpy purple rainbow swirl narwhal squishy. And here it is. I don't think anyone can say that this one looked better before. Even if you hate rainbow, even if you hate this little derpy face, just look where it came from. I do think that this is kind of um, a strange design. Girl, what are you wearing? But I do like it actually. That modeling. The eyes do include the full rainbow, which I thought was gonna be a little bit more eye catching, but you honestly can't even tell. Oh, it looked like Barney for a split second. There, no, there. Does it? I don't know. Moving on to the house squishy. This was from the Bill Gates package. From Bill Gates. <laughs> But obviously, it was one of the squishies that didn't get painted. Well, not intentionally. I did get very excited to see these houses because I've never seen a house before. Well, a house squishy. Obviously, I've, I've seen a house. Okay. The colors are interesting. The yellow is... Whoa! <coughs> it's screaming at me. Very bright and bold colors, but then a pastel pink door. Interesting choice. One thing that really bothers me is that this window is almost completely covered up. Does that bother you? It just, it bothers me. Also how the tree is barely touching the roof. I'm just saying. The back is a tiny bit too busy for me, so I may wanna simplify that a little bit. But other than that, it's, it's all great. So let's get to work. I'm gonna rough it up a little bit with some sandpaper so that we don't have any issues with paint peeling off. Now about that window. I'm actually just gonna cut it off and get rid of it so that there's only one window. Symmetry is overrated. And on the back, I'm actually gonna cut the grass completely off. Mowing the lawn. I'm also going to remove some of the leaves. Pruning the bushes. Then I noticed that the paint is peeling off the roof. If I don't pull all of this off and re-sand it, my paint could potentially peel off as well. Kind of fun, but also kind of a complete mess. <sighs> So now I'm going in with some random paint to smooth out the rough areas from all of those cuts that I made, and I'm running low on paint again. Well, it's shopping time. This video is sponsored by Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that automatically applies the best promo codes to save you money when you check out. So if you're like me and you like to shop online because convenience, you just gotta get it. It works on so many different websites, over 30,000 actually. There's no work involved, you just shop as usual. Here I go buying more paint. This little guy will meet you at checkout and he dances. <laughs> Honey will then apply a bunch of promo codes to make sure that you get the best deal possible on what you're buying. And just like that, whoa, I saved $39. Wait, that's actually a lot. That's crazy, okay. There's no reason not to use Honey for everything you buy online. If you wanna get it, wait, where are you going? I already have it installed. <sighs> just, just for them, just sh to show them. Okay. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Mariah. That's joinhoney.com slash Mariah. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. And thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's go back home. I'm painting the house a nice light gray because I'm going for a little bit more natural colors, kind of like a cozy little cottage feel. Welcome to Nana's Cottage. It's just nice. For the roof, I'm going with a warm kind of brown. I think that this this is a fitting squishy to choose for this week since this is the first squishy makeover video I'm doing in the new house and it's a house squishy. No one cares. And now I'm gonna start, oh, never mind, making a stone pattern. No, that ain't right. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is great because there's no way I was gonna get it perfect anyway. It's a stone cottage. It can be a little uneven and wobbly and still look pretty good. So I'm just kind of plopping stones wherever the alignment isn't set in stone. No. 
I'll edit that one out. Now I'm going with pink for the front door, which is interesting because I, I made fun of that pink front door before, but I think that the pink makes a little bit more sense since the colors are a little toned down. And I'm gonna be adding pink to other things around the house as well so that it doesn't look so random. I went white for the windows because I wanted something that really pops on the gray and then i added this white heart on the roof for some reason i knew immediately that i wanted a heart on the roof but it's it's too much pop so I went over that in gray to tone it down and i like that better it's definitely crooked but it's still cute I think. For some reason, choosing the color for the inside of windows is always a stressful decision for me. Of course, most cartoon windows are blue. In reality, windows usually look black in the daytime, but it just never feels like the right color. I made the door frame in brown to match with the roof. And of course, the tree trunk has to match also, even though this is totally not a bark color. Ruff. That is bark. And in goes the green. Also, let me point out that this is a much more appropriate gap between two objects. I just have a pet peeve of things that are like barely touching. Ah, we're putting the fence in so that, you know, nobody touches my flowers. What is that supposed to mean? I added some dark pink details to the flowers and little hearts in the tree. What, you've never seen hearts growing on a tree? Well, you need to get out more. I added that. Yikes. So I tried to fix it. I mean, that's not much better, but okay. Yeah, not a huge fan of how I did those flowers on the back, but they're, they're there. I added a gray line. Hideous. And then I decided to go over it with brown. Less hideous. Then I added a little vine across the roof to bring a a little more green. I think I should have stopped here. Oh no, don't do it. But I added a stone texture to the heart. I'm really not sure about it. I have a heart of stone. I just don't know if that was necessary or if it looks good, but oh well, it stayed. Here is the final house. I think it's a big improvement. I think it looks more balanced and more pleasant now. I do really like most of the details that I added to it, except maybe that stone texture in the heart. I know that I don't hate it. I just don't know if I like it. I'm on the fence. Nobody's home. Maybe next squishy makeover, I'll make someone to live in here because a house is not a home unless someone's home or something like that. I don't know, but it's a house and it's a nice one. So for now, let's just move on to the next squishy. So this little sweetie, it's a cake with a bear head on top of it. Yeah, I love it. Although the paw prints, mm, not crazy about those. I keep thinking I'm seeing eyes with eyelashes, lots of them. And we do have some significant rippage and a hole, but I do love the bear, love the bows. I knew I wanted to do some sort of theme, but I gotta work with a bear. As I'm struggling with this bear, I realize, oh, that kind of looks like a seal. Let's go with that. So getting to work, ouch, I'll take those. The bows are also going bye-bye, which was really sad for me because I actually really loved the bows, but just wasn't gonna work with the theme that I picked out, so. But of course, I will keep them for my parts box, uh, you know, to use them later. <gasps> You can see my shirt. With these rough areas, let me go ahead and trim them up a bit to smooth it out a little. Just cleaning up the shape a little bit. Oops. Dang it. Oh, who's this? Ugh. This is a little narwhal with a broken tail, and he's here to generously donate his tail to our earless bear cake. <laughs> Thank you, friend. So I'm just going to attach the tail on there somehow to make this look like the seal is swimming through the cake. So let me glue that on there and secure it. <laughs> So thong. Okay, looking pretty good, but plain. So let's bring out that parts box. Hey, long time no see. And look who I found. You will be perfect. And I'll take these as well. I'm also gonna take a couple pineapples and chop off the tops. That is so wasteful. Don't worry. I have plenty of other complete pineapples. I might as well make some use of these, right? and I'm gonna take this little donut and cut it into chunks. Why do they all have to die? And now we have seashells. So here are my little cake decorations and the glue gun. 
I always use fabric glue when I can because it's better for squishies. But with something like this that has a lot of little tiny pieces, it's just too time consuming to stick everything on one at a time, secure them with rubber bands, and then wait for each thing to dry. But hot glue does dry stiff, so I gotta be careful not to make hard lumps in my squishy. Ooh. Okay, now that everything is stuck on there, I'm gonna go in with some puffy paint and secure everything by filling in all the cracks and the gaps so that it all looks like one seamless kind of piece. And going over the rough spots and rips, here we are, finally ready to paint. So if you haven't put this together yet, I'm going for like an ocean or under the sea kind of theme for this. So I'm painting it a nice blue and adding gradients with different shades of blue. So lots of blending, of course. I was really happy with how the sea decorations came together. I much prefer using different parts of squishies and combining them instead of trying to cut and shape little pieces from scratch out of memory foam. I like to avoid that if I can because that is super tedious. And now painting the seal white, kind of like a ping pong ball, but give him some time, he's developing. Okay, now I'm going in with all the little details and painting them white and some matte fabric paint. I realized I had to cut off this little fin because this guy's gonna be a little baby seal, so we need to get rid of that, all right. That's more like it. Okay, back to this. This is just for a base coat. It works really well since the matte white paint is super opaque and then I just don't have to fight with the bright blue color when I paint those and there we go. That looks unique. And I'm choosing pearlescent fabric paint for the details, but this pearlescent paint is just so transparent. You can like barely tell that I'm even doing anything right now. So I'm bringing back the old popsicle stick so that I can apply the paint in a thicker coat. Let me just pile that on real quick. I think the pearlescent works really well for under the sea. It's all shimmery, kind of like how things look underwater. Is that dumb? And now just doing some touch-ups around. Now I'm adding some little waves to kind of look like splashing water around the seal. Give it some action, like it's actually swimming through the cake. And now on to the little face, as you can see. Well, just barely because I'm out of the frame. But anyway, I can't forget about the little baby seal. Kind of like a, a little parasite. Aww. And final touch, I'm adding some white pearl paint as little bubbles to tie everything together. And here's the before and after. I do still like the original design, of course, but I think it came out really well. I love the underwater theme, the pearlescence, the parasite, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Squishy Makeovers. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I think thanks for watching and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Mm -hmm.